Top 10 Ongoing Mega Projects in Ethiopia In this video, we will count down the top amazing mega projects that are currently underway in Ethiopia. Starting with Number 10 Largest Airport in Africa Ethiopian Airlines is spending $5 billion to build the largest airport in Africa, which could become Africa's busiest hub, capable of handling more passengers than Johannesburg, South Africa. To Old Geber Mariam, the CEO of Ethiopian Airlines, announced that the company had achieved its 2025 objectives seven years ahead of schedule and was now focusing on its 2035 vision, which calls for building a sizable new airport. At this time, Bull International Airport in Addis Abeba is the departure point for flights operated by Ethiopian Airlines. The airport is expected to reach capacity in three to four years given its growth. Ethiopian Airlines is constructing a new airport called Absera to make room for this. About 40 miles south of Addis Abeba, in the town of Bistoftu, the Absera Airport will occupy a plot of land measuring about 13 square miles. Each year, the airport will be able to handle about 100 million passengers. The airport plans to become an airport city with duty-free shopping malls, hotels, and training centers. It will rival the size of the new Istanbul Airport, which is projected to become the world's largest airport in 2028. Number 9. The Mesub Tower Mesub Tower is a 70-floor mixed-use development in Kirkos, Addis Ababa, shaped like a mesub, an Ethiopian household utensil. It is expected to serve as a tourist attraction. The Ethiopian Ministry of Culture and Tourism and the architects who designed the tower have signed a memorandum of understanding to commence construction. The 250-meter-tall, 70-story building will stand on 20,000 square meters of land in Addis Abeba, Ethiopia. It is anticipated to be finished in five years and will include hotels, shopping centers, a cultural center, a gym, and a golf club. Mesub Tower is unique and reflects Ethiopia's culture, and the public-private partnership development will attract tourists and improve the country's image. Number 8. TAMS Hydropower Project The TAMS Hydropower Project is a multipurpose project located in the Barrow River Basin in southwestern Ethiopia, at the junction zone between the highlands and lower Barrow River. The TAMS Reservoir would have a 76 square kilometers reservoir area, a dam height of 248 meters, and a live storage capacity of 4.8 billion M3. It would satisfy the region's energy needs, which are high due to a power shortage. It is one of Ethiopia's biggest construction initiatives. The project is currently in permitting stage. It will be developed in single phase. Number 7. Koisha Hydroelectric Dam Project. The Koisha Hydropower Project is a 2.16 GW hydroelectric facility under construction in Ethiopia. The project, which started civil construction in October 2016, is being developed by Ethiopian Electric Power with a $2.80 billion investment. The Koisha Hydropower Project is expected to generate 6,460 gigawatt hours of electricity and offset 1 million tons of CO2 annually. The Koisha Hydroelectric Power Project is located on the Oma River in Ethiopia, 370 kilometers southwest of Addis Ababa. It will feature eight Francis turbine units of 270 MDO capacity each. Number 6. Fairfax Oil Refinery Project Fairfax Africa Fund, a U.S. investment firm, collaborated with Asian partners to build an oil refinery in Ethiopia worth $4 billion to serve the country and the East African market. The refinery will be situated in the town of Awash in eastern Ethiopia, about 220 kilometers from Addis Ababa, and will have the ability to process 120,000 barrels per day. The equivalent amount of crude oil is 6 million metric tons. Reports state that Ethiopia built its first oil refinery in 1967 in the present-day port of Asab in Eritrea. Russian engineers had only been able to produce 500,000 metric tons of fuel per year at the time the refinery was first built. After that, it was upgraded to handle 800,000 metric tons of fuel annually. The new facility will have the capacity to refine 12 million metric tons of crude oil annually, increasing Ethiopia's energy security. Number 5. The Lapset Corridor Project The Lapset Corridor Project is an infrastructure project to connect East African countries, with Kenya spearheading the implementation. On March 2, 2012, the late Ethiopian Prime Minister Mil Zanawi, then President of Kenya Mwai Kibaki, and President of South Sudan Salva Kiir 
announced the launch of LAPSSET. The LAPSSET corridor project will improve the region of East Africa's standing as a gateway and a center for transportation and logistics. There are two main components to it. A 500 meters wide infrastructure corridor for projects like roads, railroads, pipelines and power transmission, and a 50 kilometers wide economic corridor on either side for industrial investments. The LAPSSET corridor project is a regional project with economic viability, facilitating trade, economic integration, and interconnectivity. Lamun Port at Mandave is designed to provide a seaport and transport link to serve the increasing import and export cargo base from Ethiopia, Kenya, and South Sudan. The LAPSSET Corridor Development Authority plans to operate and finance the development through private sector investment and concessions. Number 4. Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway. The Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway is the first modern electrified railway line in East Africa. The project is jointly owned by Ethiopia and Djibouti, and is expected to provide landlocked Ethiopia with faster access to the port of Djibouti. The 780 km meter gauge railway that runs through Dire Dawa and connects Ethiopia with Djibouti was first built in 1917. The only railway line connecting Djibouti port, a significant cargo entry point, and landlocked Ethiopia has deteriorated due to poor management and maintenance. Number 3. Giant Cement Industrial Complex West China Cement Limited and Ethiopian East African Holding Company have partnered to create the Lemi National Cement SC Industrial Complex. On Thursday, March 4, 2021, the Ethiopian government, under the leadership of President Saul Worksud, laid the cornerstone for the Lemi Industrial Complex project in the Ensaro neighborhood of Lemi Town in the country's central region. A joint venture between East African Holding and West China Cement Limited has been established to construct a 270-hectare facility on a 270-hectare plot of land for $2.2 billion. Ethiopia is currently trying to industrialize. The realization of an industrial complex, consisting of large factories producing cement, glass, gypsum, and more, will help reduce the growing demand for construction materials and create jobs for up to 10,000 people. It will also inspire local development. Number 2. Expansion of Maju Dry Port The Maju Dry Port in central Ethiopia has been expanded to modernize the logistics sector, with Minister of Transport Dagmat Mojas presenting the groundbreaking ceremony. Ethiopia's first dry port, Maju Dry Port, serves as a vital logistics and transportation link between the interior of Ethiopia and the ports of Djibouti. In 2009, it began on a small scale. The expansion project involves the construction of six warehouses, road and pavement works, multipurpose buildings, and various operating facilities. It is being financed by the World Bank and is set to cost $110 million. To expand the government's export market, the project will concentrate on three value chains, leather, textiles, and agro-processed goods. 80% of the import-export market for the nation is currently handled by the dry port. Number 1. Africa CDC Headquarters on a 90,000 square meter plot of land with a total construction area of 40,000 square meters, the Africa Center for Disease Control and Prevention's main office is being built in a village south of Addis Abeba. The building will include an emergency operations center, a data center, a laboratory, a resource center, briefing rooms, a training center, a conference center, offices, and expatriate apartments that have been constructed, furnished, and equipped by the Chinese government. The implementation agreement for the Africa CDC Headquarter Building Project was signed in July by the AU Commission and the Ministry of Commerce of the People's Republic of China. The government pledged to work with Africa to deliver the health care initiative adopted at the Beijing Summit. Xi Jinping promised to build a China-Africa community of health by developing China-Africa friendship hospitals and cooperating with paired-up Chinese and African hospitals. And this concludes our coverage of Ethiopia's current mega-projects. If you loved the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe for 50 years of good luck.